Okay. We are starting a new topic, um, and the topic is geometry. As we know, geometry has got um, a number of subheadings. <clears throat> but to be specific, today we are concentrating on similarity. So first and foremost, we have to remember that um, when we talk about geometry, we are basically talking about studying shapes, right? Yes. Good. So we have uh, different shapes and we have different things which we look for around the shapes. But today, we are concentrating on similarity. Now, first, we have to know what is similarity. But before we understand exactly the meaning of similarity, it is exactly divided into two parts. There is a bit of difference when you are explaining similarity. But as we are looking at similarity, we also have another terminology which is called congruence. Congruence. Now, congruence and similarity, they go hand in hand, but they have a difference. Similarity, uh, for two shapes to be similar, okay? Number one, those shapes might not be triangles, but for triangles, they have their own specific eh, differentiation, how to differentiate it. So rule number one, for all shapes to be similar, they must have same angles. They must have same angles. Now, what do we mean? What do I mean by same angles? When I have one triangle, and if I have another triangle, the angle which is here must be also existing somewhere, anywhere on this shape. It could be at the same corner, or even if it is at another corner, but what we shall know is this angle in this angle, they are the same. So, even if I have another angle there, yeah, by putting two lines means maybe the angle is different from this one. If I have this angle in one triangle, I should also have that same kind of angle anywhere on this other triangle. And if I have one left angle without any mark, and even the other side I have one left angle without any mark, this means this corner and that corner are also the same. So one important condition for similar shape, for similar triangles, they must have same angles. And even for non-triangles, they must have same angles. And also, for congruence, they also must have same angles. Now, the second condition is the one that shows the difference. <coughs> Are we together? Yes. Yes. If yes. triangles are similar, if triangles are similar, length of sides <coughs> must be different. Length of sides must be different. Take an example. If this side, if this side is maybe capital 60. A, if that side is capital A, 
its corresponding side on the other shape must never ever be as equal as capital A. Perhaps it could be small a. And if I keep another value for another angle, then the other triangle must never be big. And if I keep this big, then the other one should be also small. Now, the congruency, the congruency, this is where we get the proper difference between similar and congruency. For congruent shapes, if this is capital and this is capital and this is capital, the rule says length of side must be equal. Length of sides must be equal. So when the length of sides are equal, that means if this side is capital A, even this side is capital A. If this side is capital B, means even this side is capital B. If this side is capital C, means this side is also capital C. So we can learn something, that the meaning of congruency is that they are exactly the same. The meaning of congruency is that they are exactly the same. But when we go to similarity, it means they are different in size. So, so. So. But now, we have to understand what if I have non-right, non-triangles. Remember, here we talked about triangles, right? About similarity. What if I have non-triangles? By non-triangles, it means a lot. It could be trapezium. It could be square. It could be a rectangle. It could be ETC. Are we together? Yes. So what about those shapes which are not triangles? What does the condition tell us for them to be similar? Now, here. They, the length must be different. But also must make a proportion. <clears throat> Are we kind of together? Yes. When they're yes. triangles, when they are triangles, once the length is different, that's all, that's enough. We don't care about how different those lengths are. That's how. But when the two shapes are perhaps not triangles, if this side is, for example, four, and maybe this side is two, then this side is 12. This side must be six. Why? So that they make a proportion. And what is that proportion? When this is four and that is two, meaning to get here, we either divide by two, right? And if this side is 12 and the other one is six, from 12 to get six means also you must divide by 
two. Meaning, the act being the same, and it tells us here our constant is two. Are we together? Yes. So, this is the proportionality I'm talking about. That even if the sides are different, okay, they must have a common constant that is affecting all of them. Sasao. Mr. Question. Yes. You can understand that. For any shapes which is not a, a triangle, and for shapes of a triangle, for them to be similar, the length of size will never be equal. But we saw for congruency, okay, means length of size must always be the same. Are we together on that part? So that means if here I have a rectangle and another one is a rectangle, if these shapes have the same values, two, four, for these two to be congruent, even this one must be two, four. Are we together? Yes. But if this rectangle is two, four, for them to be similar means the other one should be either bigger or smaller. Are we together on that? Yes. That's how. Mm. But I can never call this one, let's say, three and this one eight. Let me write it inside. If I call this three, this one eight, then these two are not similar. Yes. Understand why? Because the activity from four to eight is not the same as from two to three. From four to eight, I multiply by two. Is that correct? Is that correct? The person who said do not understand, I'm explaining again for you. From size four to size eight, it is like we have multiplied by two. But from size two to size three, it is like we have multiplied by one and a half. Because our multiplier is not the same. These two are not similar. Are you together? Yes. Yes. But if the big one if the big one was four eight it means from two to four, we multiply by two. Is that correct? Yes. From four to eight, we multiply by two. Is that correct? Yes. yes. This means shape A and shape C are similar, but shape A and B are not similar. Because here, we have same constant value two. Are we together now? Oh, yes. So that's why when I was explaining this one, I say, if I have four and I got two, if I have 12 and I got six, meaning there's a common divider or there's a common multiplier. From big to small, you divide. From small to big, you multiply. So if there's a common divider or there's a common multiplier, it means the two, yes, they are similar. Are we together? Yes. yes. We can have more example about this. As you can see here, I wrote none triangles. And I'm using example of a rectangle. Can you see that? Yes. Can you see shape A and shape B? Yes. Do yes. you think the two are similar or they are not similar? Not they are not similar. similar. 
They not are not similar. similar. Why? They're not similar. Why? Don't have the same proportion. They don't have the same proportion. They don't have the same constant, right? Because yes. the width is one, but this side is two. Do you see that? Yes. 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 This means from one to two, the multiplier is two. But the length is two, and this one is three. Yes. This means the multiplier is one and a half. Do you agree? Yes. This concludes that A and B are, are not, not the same. Not the same, are not similar. Are we together? The same is not yes. similar. The same is not similar. The same is congruent. Are we together that? Yes. yes. The same is congruent. So don't use the term same for similar shapes, okay? Okay. All right. So congruency, the same. Similarity, they are never the same. One is big, one is small. Small. Now, sir. Oh. All right, let's move on. So look at example two. Yes. P, Q, are they similar or they are not? They, they are. are. They, they are, are similar. They are right? similar. They are similar, they are not the same. So they're why similar. do you say they are similar? Same there constant. Is a whole, like, because it has same proportion. They have the same proportion, right? And the proportion yes. is a two. Two. Right? Yeah. Yes. yes. And yes. don't cram yeah. that the proportion must be two. It could be four, it could be three, it could be 1.5, as long as it has done the same on the both sides, right? Yes. Yes. So we agree, question two, they are similar. Yep. yep. What yes. about question three? M yes. and N, are they similar? Yes. 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 No, we no, are yes. no. Yes. 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 Then no. one with the again is they are similar. No. They, they are, are similar, similar, right? Yeah. Why? Because they yeah. have same proportion. Proportion. Play anymore. <laughs> By two. Okay, what I wanted you to tell me, like if you look at the width and the width, and if you look at the length and the length, you realize they make a proportion. Some people, they are not watching carefully. Some people are comparing five and six. When six is width, but five is length. So they are, yes. must compare width with width, with width. length, with length, is that correct? Length. Yes. So, that was a further example. Back to the point. Did we understand the introduction of similarity and congruence? Yes. yes. Very good. Now, what is the importance here? Our importance of studying similarity is to identify some length which is missing in a given question. Right? Is to identify some length which is missing in a given question. Are we together? Yes. But before we start the length, in similarity, To find missing length, we use the proportionality. Formula. Now, what is the proportionality formula? Side of the bigger shape over side of the smaller shape is equal to side of the bigger shape over side of the smaller shape is equal to side of the bigger shape over side of the smaller shape. 
Mister, you should write. No, I will send a picture in your group, okay. and you will write at your free time. Okay, but uh, you okay. must write in your class book because this is official lesson of school. Okay. Okay. So, in proportionality, we use this formula. But again, the proportionality is divided in two groups. Number one, there is proportionality using angle positioning. And also, number two, there is proportionality using parallel sides. Are we together? Yeah. Now, today, we are going to look at angle positioning. Today, we are going to look at Angle positioning. Inshallah, on Monday, we shall look at parallel sides. Now, what is exactly angle positioning on similar triangles or similar shapes? We have to remember that when you have got two triangles, one could be bigger. Let me use the right angle for the first example. One could be bigger, like that, and maybe this angle. So we know this is 90, this is some other angle, and this is a different angle. Another one could be smaller, like that. Do you see the two triangles? By angle position, it means we need to identify which sides are exactly related. So, if I said this side is maybe capital A, remember when I'm giving letters, it doesn't matter. I can put A anywhere as long as I relate it to its, to its proper side. If I call this A, Look at the position of A. And look at the positions of angles which are touching A. Can you see them? Yes. yes. We have 90 touching A. The other side, we have no mark touching A. You agree? Yes. So, the related side must also have the same positioning of angles. Is that correct? Yes. So our small a would be this side. Do you agree? Yes. If I give this side b, I say it doesn't matter any side you give. B is touching a 90 and a no and one mark side. Do you see that? 90 and one mark side. Meaning a small b should be on a side which is similar to that one by the angle positioning. Do you see that? So this will be small b. So finally, c is the remaining side. Even if, even if they are not right angles, perhaps this side and that side, even if they are not right angle, you could still Identify maybe here and there. Can you see the two shapes? If I'm to ask you, if I say small a is here, where do you think will be big A? Between the two angles. Here. No. Up. No. Here. Up. No. Up. Here. Up. Yes. Up. up. Good. This is where the position of big A should be, basing on angle positioning. So, so. so, if I give this side a small b, where do I keep small b? This capital B. This yeah, one. the longest. The longest. No. This one. No. 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 This one. Yes. yes. Good. And finally, if this is small c, that is small c. This is Big the C. meaning of 
angle positioning. Are we together? Yes. yes. Now let's see yes. a practical example. Can you read number one? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. One value is missing here. Yeah. And the heading is the angle positioning. So, so. so I have a question for you. Can you show me if I give this size A? Where do I keep small a? In five. In y, y. Y, y. In y, y, y. Thank you. We keep it at y. Because we have one mark and nothing. And this side is one mark and nothing. Nothing. If I keep b there. Five. Three. Five. Five. Uh, five, 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 five. So we keep at five because of two marks and nothing. And finally, if this is C, that would be C. Small Are C. we together? Yes. So I go back to my formula. A over A, B over B, C over C. I substitute my values, correct? Correct. My A is eight. My small A is Y. My B is X. My small B is five. My C is five. My small C is three. Do you see that? Yes. So yes. now I can be able to find the value of X and the value of Y by taking pair, pair. So let me take the first pair. Eight okay. over y is equal to five over three. I cross multiply. Eight times three, I get 24. Y times uh, five, I get five y. Over five, over five, what is y? 4.8. Pardon? 4.8. 4.8, thank you. Then I get another pair. X over five, five over three. I cross multiply, 3x is equal to 25. Do you agree? Yes. Over yes. 3, over 3. What's my x? 8.3. Recurring. Are we together? Yes. 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 Good. If we are together, now we have got yes. a bigger challenge. I see that challenge. Yes. yes. Now, the lesson is over. It's going to go off. Then I'm going to send you another code. We finish the second example. Oh. Do you understand? Yes. It's going to go off. Then I'm going to send you a new code. Then we look at the second example. Sasa. 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 Okay. Good. Yes. Mr. Sangapi. Sasa Ivi. <laughs>